Alrighty, so today you're going to start a warm up with a 400 meter run or 400 meter row, whatever you want to do. Just get your, move, your body moving for 400 meters. Afterwards, you're going to do some arm circles. You're going to do 20 massive forward arm circles, just like that. And then you're going to do 20 massive backwards arm circles. Perfect. Afterwards, you're going to do some air squats. 20 air squats of going all the way down. And in your bottom position, you're going to hold it for three seconds and then back up. So 20 of those, perfect. Keeping your chest up, just like that. So when you are done with this section, we're going to the, do a two rounds of the following for the warm up. So you're gonna grab a dumbbell and you're going to do 10 dumbbell deadlifts per arm. So setting your hips back and going down. So you're gonna do 10 on one side. Perfect, just like that. And then you're gonna do another 10 on the other side. Awesome. Afterwards, you're going to grab the dumbbell and you're going to do five swings to eye level. So using your hips to thrust it up and then bring the dumbbell all the way up to eye level. Switch arms and you're going to do another five on this side. Perfect. Thank you. Once you're done, put it on the ground and you're going to do 20 lateral jump overs. So jumping from side to side. 20 reps. Perfect. Thank you. So you're going to repeat that one more time. So two sets. Once you're done, we're going into our conditioning part. So you're going to do 27, 24, 21, 59 of the following. So dumbbell hang power snatch. Just like that. So we're going to alternate arms every time. Whipping the dumbbell over. Nice and snappy elbows. You can get it underneath it just like that. And use your head for that power. Okay, thank you. Then you're going to hold on to the dumbbell and you're going to do step ups, weighted step ups, okay? And you're going to alternate legs every single time. So you can hold it like this, like Kaylin's doing, or if you have two dumbbells, you can use two. Or you can switch it up and bring it overhead just like that. Or you can even hold it in the front rack position, just like that. So alternating each time, finishing at full extension at the top. Perfect. Thank you. So that's your conditioning part. Once you're done, we're going to do some arm strength. So you're going to grab a dumbbell, and you're going to do three to four steps of the following. So you're going to do um, some push press. I believe it is 12 push press. So using that dip to power up. Or if you would like to make it more challenging and add some resistance, you can do some strict press. <laughs> so just keeping your core nice and tight. Perfect. Just like that. Awesome. Once you're done your 12, you're going directly into single arm bent over row. So you're going to send your hips back just like Taylor's doing. And you're going to keep the dumbbell nice and close to your body and row it back, bringing your elbow up. So pretend you have a lemon right here and that you want to squeeze the lemon with your lats. Just like that. Awesome. So that's going to be three to four sets. Once you're done, we're going to need to jump into some core work. So you're going to do five rounds. So not sets, we're doing rounds. So uh, minimal breaks, okay? So you're going to do um, some sit-ups. Just like that. Uh, how much is it? 50, yes. So you're going to do 15 sit-ups, just like that, keeping your core nice and tight. Even if you'd like, you can do some butterfly sit-ups too with your legs open like that, and then bringing your, um, your body over past your hip extension right here, past your middle part. Once you're done, you're going to do 20 seconds of planking, okay? So whether you do just a regular front plank like that, if you would like, you can also switch it up and do high plank. So you're doing 20 seconds of this, keeping your butt tucked in, okay? So pelvis is in and your core is nice and tight and you're nice and solid. Perfect. So five rounds of that and that is your workout. So enjoy.